Okay, so boom, look, check this out. One thing for sure, two things for certain about the penitentiary. I don't care if we family, I don't care if we homeboys. Grew up in the same city, grew up in the same hood. You know what I'm saying? I know your people, you know mine. I don't care if we affiliated with the same thing. I don't care what it is. The minute you get out of line and try to treat it, treat me like I'm not a man here, say something out of line, do something out of line. Penitentiary rules is in effect. You will get junk clothes and damn in here. This is a story about I almost had the two piece my own pops in a prison cell. So this is when me, my brother, and my dad was all at the same prison. This is at Turner Center. This is at only Tennessee. You don't believe me. I don't believe he's really in the penitentiary with his dad. I don't even believe he was locked up. Look it up. Only Tennessee is called Turner Center. Me, pops, and bro, we all there together, right? My pops get in trouble because he had been selling tobacco. They put him on the bus, put him on the train. Send him on up on the hill, on the mountain. They call it Northeast. When they ship him up, I move my brother in the cell with me. Me and my brother get into it one time. You know what I'm saying? He figured he can cross the line. He figured he can try to treat me as if I was a little boy, like I wasn't a man in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Penitentiary rules is in effect, my boy. They is in effect, my boy. Come here. <clears throat> That's a whole other story, though. You want to hear that story? Say, okay, so boom. Tell us about the story with you and your brother. That's if you haven't heard it yet. But look, check this out. So when that situation happened with me and my brother, I moved into another cell. My brother ended up going home. When my brother went home, my pops, he, you know, we got them toys in there. So he called him down there checking on me. I'm calling up there. I'm checking on him. You know what I'm saying? We checking on each other, right? So he finally proposed, make a proposition and say, hey, you want to come up here with me? Of course I want to be in the cell with you, daddy. Of course, pops, I want to be in the cell with you. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I had got used to the penitentiary where I was at. You know what I'm saying? I got a little move. I got a mule. You know what I'm saying? I send, I send, I send my cell up there to the VG. My cell is going to secure that in the middle of his body. You know what I'm saying? He going to bring it back. He going to beat the pat down. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't search him. When he squat and call, <coughs> it ain't going to fall out because some re you know, he know how to make it work. You know, So we 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 handling business up here. You know what I'm saying? Some boxes in here, green in here. You know what I'm saying? If I need an extra phone battery, you know what I'm saying? He even going to put that in the middle of his body. So... You know, we you you got to make this sound like a sweet deal for, for me, daddy, for me to, you know what I'm saying, give all up, give this up what I got going on. So my daddy tell me, I got two phones. As soon as you get off the bus and I get you in the cell with me, I'm going to give you your own phone. I said, oh, really? Then he hit me with this. And it's a touch screen. Oh, you got the big boy flat? You got the big boy flat? You know, them hard to get in the penitentiary when I first got there. They ain't hard to get now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, we were still walking around with the flats when I got there in 2000 with the flip on. You know what I'm saying? It, you, it, it's hard to come back and get that big boy touch screen. And if you do get it, you're going to pay a, pen, a, a pretty penny for it. You're going to pay at least 1500 for that touch screen. You know what I'm saying? Pop said, oh, yeah, I got your touch screen. You got the touch screen, draw it. Draw it. Man, listen. I'll go on, go on, put the word into the ward, tell the ward, you know what I'm saying? Go on, get a little Joe T the third up on, on that mountain. He said, oh, I got you. Don't say no more. Two, three weeks go by. I signed the paperwork. They put me on the bus. I'm on the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm going up to the mountain. I get to the mountain, right? I'm thinking I'm going straight to the unit where my pops at in the cell with my pops. Pops is on the bottom of the hill in Unit 9. As soon as I get off the bus, they tell me, oh, you going up here to 12 and 13, 11, 10, 11, 12, 13, whatever. I'm going to the top of the hill. I'm not going. I'm not even going in the same direction as the unit where my pops is at. So I was like, oh, that was a ain't trip. And pops got me moved to the penitentiary. He most definitely get me moved to the cell with him. So I dropped in. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting stuff in the car. Boom, boom, boom. You know, I walk my little old lady tail on up to the unit. Well, as soon as I walk into the unit, you know what I'm saying? You know how it is when you get to the penitentiary. If you've been to the penitentiary, if you ain't been to the penitentiary, don't go to the penitentiary because I'm telling you something. Penitentiary ain't the place to be. So when I walk in the unit, right, soon they, they, soon as all the affiliates, peons, and everybody else in the unit hear the door, pew, dramatic effect me, please. Everybody looking at me, I'm looking at everybody. We all looking at each other, you know what I'm saying? And they really just want to know what I'm affiliated with, you know what I'm saying? They really want they want to know, you know, where I come from and what that is. You know what I'm saying? And a couple of people who knew me, because I'd have been to six penitentiaries at the time, they all, man, what's up, little Joe T? What's up, my guy? What you doing? You know what I'm saying? Big G on the compound. Even though I had already got out, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even that no more, you know what I'm saying? But they still respected me, you know what I'm saying? My name was clean, you know what I'm saying? So I'm walking toward the cell where I'm going there. Somebody how hey little Joe T, what's, what, what, what cell you going to? So I tell him what cell I'm going to. Soon as I say the cell, it seemed like a silence broke. 
you know, and everybody kind of turn their head. Everything got to turn in slow motion for a second. You know, everybody, Rrr. I said, what's up? They were like, oh, so see, man, we're going to get you a sale chain, bro. Go on to refuse the sale. And if you've been to the penitentiary, you know what that means. When you, when you get fresh off the train and you walk into a unit and you go into a sale and they and everybody done ask you what sale you going into and everybody say, I'm going to refuse the sale. I'm going to get you a sale chain. You don't want to go in there. You already know who in there. One of them. So I was like, man, listen. I just rode that bus for hours in handcuffs and shackles. They got urine in the back, poop in the back. It smell like feces and urine, this whole ride. We been coming up this mountain, hitting these bumps and hitting these curves and they driving like they don't care if they flip us up off the top of this mountain and kill us all. I said, man, listen, I ain't got time. To view. I don't want to walk to the hole. I don't want to go to the, listen, man, I don't care nothing about none of that. When I get in here, if that's what's in here, I'm going to tell him, listen, I'm finna go to bed, I'm finna go to sleep, and when I get up in the morning, I'm out of here, doc. Do you hear me? Just go, right, just go and lay in your book. Don't say nothing to me. I ain't going to say nothing to you. We ain't going to say nothing to each other. You know what I'm saying? Just lay down. You know what I'm saying? So when I get to the, as soon as I walk in the cell, I'm pulling my stuff out of the cart because I got to push the cart back out. You know what I'm saying? I got to take the cart back down now. You know what I'm saying? So when I push the cart back out of the cell, I notice a bunch of affiliates walking to the door. Hey, 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 hey homie. You, you, you sure you don't even, you know what I mean? You probably don't even want to pull your stuff out, bro. You like, bro, you ain't finna want to be here. So while they talking to me, I'm talking back. You know what I'm saying? We conversing. We having a whole little conversation. While that's going on, the, the, the boy walk up. He you, you my selling, you my selling. That, that's exactly what I did. That, that was my expression in real time. He, are you, are you, you my selling? I, I said, y'all give me a second with my selling right quick. He walk all the way in the cell. They done stepped out. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, I said, oh, oh, oh. I said, first, 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 foremost, what we're going to do is, I said, I'm Joe T. What's your name, homie? I, I'm so, no, no, what's your name? What's your name? What's your, what's your, what's your name your mom and daddy gave? Chris? Right, look at Chris. Let me check this out. I said, first thing I need you to do, quit doing, quit, quit, quit being so uh, loose with your wrist. You know what I'm saying? Quit doing loose, quit, quit being loose with your wrist. What I need you to do right now is act like you were at if one of these dudes... John claude Van Damme, because I done seen y'all get to fighting in hell. I done seen boys get to fighting in hell. And when boys get to fighting in hell, them, them boys, they turn back into the man. They, 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 all, that, all, that, all that right here in, 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 in your neck, right here in your throat, you ain't even talking soft no more. You went from, yeah, 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 to, yeah, 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 I need you to do that right now. That, that's exactly what I need you to do. I need you to transform. You can you transform back into whatever it is that you are when you walk at the set. But as of right now, I need you to dump me like the man that you are. So we have a little conversation. I told him, look, check this out. Oh, in the morning, I'm going to the bottom of the hill, you know what I'm saying? My pops down there. When I say my pops was down there, he was like, oh, he was like, your dad, your dad is just prison? I was like, yeah. He's like, what's, what's your dad's name? And, and you know, it's the first thing that in my mind, I was like, you know what my dad's name for? Like, I don't even want to give you this type of information. You know what I'm saying? I don't be, I'm, I'm confident in who I am. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really just own that. But at the same time, I'm really like, why? You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, Big Joe. You know, he said, Joe who? I said, oh, Joe Baby. That's my pop. He said, man, Big Joe, your dad. Now wait a minute, you know what I'm saying? Cause, 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 cause Pop been locked up a long time, you know what I'm saying? So my brain kind of went, he almost, you know what I'm saying? My, my world started to glide. When he was like, Joe, Big Joe, your daddy, no, 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 You done got a little, you done, he done hit this bull right here. Big Joe, no, no, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause if you say something you ain't got no business doing. I promise you. I said, I said, yeah, that, yeah, that's pop. He said, man, that's my guy. He said, man, that's my guy. That's who I get all my tobacco from. He said, man, you need to call him. Oh, I said, of course I need to call him. You know what I'm saying? He's now he acting like he, he, he. I've been locked up for a couple of years at this point. See, now at this point, what he do? He do, see, see, most prisoners. Majority, 98% of prisoners are opportunists. 
You know what I'm saying? And he's now using me as an opportunity. Now, not only has he asked me could he use the phone, but he already done let me know that he get tobacco from my pops. So now that he done said he want to let me use the phone, he going to try to run into my pops like he done looked out for his son. I let him use the phone. He was straight. I made sure he had something to eat. Man, cut me a deal on that tobacco. That's what he doing. He's an opportunist. I said, but yeah, I need to use the phone. When I said I need to use the phone, he closed the door. He secured the door. When he secured the door, he pulled up a violation. You don't know what a violation is because you ain't never been to the penitentiary. If you ain't never been to the penitentiary, I advise you not to ever go. So he pulled out the violation, and that's how you cover up the window. He cover up the window on the door. Ha! When he cover up the window on the door, he, he turned around and looked at me. I'm looking at him. We're looking at each other. I'm thinking he finna reach into his pocket and pull his phone out. But then I had to snap back into reality. Oh, he's a boy. So I had, oh, hold on a second, let me, I got you, said. So I turn around. When I turn around, you know, he done, he done got to go in the glove box. You don't know what the glove box is because you ain't been to the penitentiary. You ain't been to the penitentiary. I advise you not to get in trouble and never to go. But when he reached into the glove box, that means he had to go into the middle of his body. You know what I'm talking about when I say in the middle of his body. You know what I'm saying? So I hear a little shrug. Next thing you know, he pulled the phone out. You know what I'm saying? I hear the water come on. He unwrapped it. When he unwrapped it, he, hey, oh, here you go, Joe T. I said, it's straight, ain't He said, man, come on, boy, it's straight. I said, all right, what's up? Let me get that. He said, you already, I said, no. Nah. He said, ah, I got, I got the number for you. Hold on, I got it for you. He pulled out a little ball pellet. 